Welcome out to E-Town. Look at this. This is where the beautiful greens of the Garden State of New Jersey meets the pavement and the Drift Coliseum, the figure eight, the crazy eight. It's going down here at E-Town. This is round four, the Formula Drift Championship. We deem this the Type S Gauntlet presented by AutoZone. 32 gladiators about to throw down on this first ever purpose-built Drift Coliseum here in the Northeast. Drivers from all across the globe competing here for a 2022 Formula Drift Championship. Well, this map right here is a really important one and we've already seen it kind of play a role in some of the action in Prospect. Those red marks there are deceleration zones on the momentum map that comes directly off of telemetry data from the vehicles. We've got a, a big deceleration right before outside zone one after initiation, one entering outside zone two, and then just a little sliver there before getting into outside zone three. What the judges really want to see from that lead driver is getting up against that wall on initiation, filling that zone completely so it gives that chase driver an opportunity to attack. On the second outside zone, it's about consistency, setting that line as deep as you possibly can, and filling that zone all the way around to connect to this inside clip where they want to see on the transition using angle to slow the vehicle down, filling that zone smoothly, and then throttling out through the finish. Line. And this is our Torque Drift video game. If you have not downloaded it, available everywhere. Torque Drift 2 coming soon, so stay tuned. Play round four, the gauntlet. Here, the Rockstar Energy Drink, top 32. I'm a little anxious. Are you? Here we go. Chelsea Nanopa going in to that first outside zone. Drags that bumper. Doesn't shred it. Wow, surprisingly, that gentleman goes through a lot of bumpers here in that second outside zone, that long outside. Look at Alec Robbins. He's still, like I said, I think he's getting a lot of confidence with more turning and ripping out here. And now into that third and final outside zone. You know what? I think Alec has a lot of confidence as well. Big 32, a pro spec earlier today, top 16. And now here we are in the pro championship. Alec Robbins initiates now into that first outside zone. Oh, a little wavering there. Across the nose of the Pennzoil Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5D into the second outside zone. Now past that inside clip, let's see how Robbins handles this. Chelsea to know, oh, when he comes up a bit short there, but now just dips it back in. And it looks like Denofa will unanimously get the win. Let me go ahead and look at this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Eve Meyer, Watoro Masayama into that first outside zone and now transitioning into that second outside zone you can see eve meyer looking like they are putting the car in the right place this is i mean really good job mimicking by masayama now into that final outside zone Ooh, eve meyer comes up a bit short masayama let's see what we got masayama flirting with those cones there but again if you hit it just be a strike no big deal for him masayama with a gangster initiation Wow, right in front of Eve Meyer, you saw that Masayama. Look at this, and this is the this is the Masayama we know that's existed. He talked about Chelsea Nope and his breakup moment. What is Masayama's breakup moment? Could it be right now? Oh, he gets barely gets in. Eve Meyer just a bit short, but a really good run there by Watoro Masayama. Eve Meyer. That is Watoro Masayama. Masayama gets the win. And will lead Odie, qualifying ninth, Darren Kelly, qualifying 24th. Odie Bakshis, a real contender in the championship. Darren Kelly, a rookie in the form of the Drift Championship. Darren Kelly straightening out, having a pretty big mistake there as Odie Bakshis puts the car exactly where it needs to be. And he continues past that inside clip. Now into that final outside zone goes Odie and Darren. Darren does chase him down, but unfortunately, doesn't get as deep as Odie Bakshis, and that, that could be really huge for Frederick Osbo. Two and a half minutes left as Osbo, we'll see if he gets to the line, but right now it's all about Darren Kelly and Odie Bakshis. Darren Kelly, there we go. He's all up in that outside zone one, in outside zone two. But you can see Odie Bakshis absolutely ripping past that second outside zone. Oh, coming to the outside zone three, Darren Kelly. Whoa, buddy. Nice save there. And Odie Bakshis gets the win. 
again, qualified fourth, a great run from Novak in that CoraWorks BMW. Look at both these guys, absolute weapons. Coming to that first outside zone, great job by Novak. Now bring on in Travis Reeder, he gets aggressive. And look at that, Novak, he seems like he is just absolutely possessed. Good smooth line there by Novak into that final outside zone. And remember, Reeder and Hughes, uh, dogs, we're, we're, dogs are awesome. So uh, send a shout out to Nick Novak. Here we go, Travis Reeder. He's going to initiate here, Travis Reeder. BMW E46, Novak. Balls back a little bit here, now into that second outside zone. Reeder delivering Nick Novak. Little lack of angle there in that chase position. And now transitioning into that final outside zone. Woo! Right for Reeder one more time and absolutely couldn't agree more. I mean, very similar driving styles. Here we go, Novak and Reader. Novak will lead that Coral Works BMW. Leads, let's see how he handles it here on this second battle against Reader in that second outside zone. Reader goes hard. Oh, wow, look at that. Novak does not back down. That's right, his name is Novak. Novak it down, my friend. Coral Works GT Radial BMW. Now transitions, Travis Reader back at it. Back to the door, knocking on Novak's door. No back, not backing down. Not yes back. Travis Reeder out front. Let's see if he elevates and rises to the occasion. Yes, he does. He goes all the way to that line through the wire. Nice job by Reeder. No back. See if he can get that proximity. So what's what's interesting here is you saw Reeder surge back off. It seems like no back looks like. He's a, oh man, Reader went mega deep. If he got through, and a lot of other drivers would be elated taking down this giant, uh, Frederick Osmond, Norwegian Hammer. All right, oh, and so Simon Olsen on initiation shuts her down. The boost race fuel, Toyota Super shuts it down on initiation. Frederick Osbo continues on through the course right on that inside clip, and now coming to that final outside zone. Looks like the car's definitely got power. Here we go, Kazuya Taguchi out front. Federico Sharifo in that chase position. Kazuya Taguchi initiates. Fetty, a little bit short there on that first outside zone. Down to second, Kazuya Taguchi almost getting that outside line, just maxing it out. As Ryan, you like to say, drawing the line. Federico does hit that inside clip, but it seemed like he was on that shallower line coming off of outside zone two and crossing the finish line in that chase position. See if that pays off for him, see if he times it properly. Go tip to tail, and now door to door. The first outside zone, let's see what fetty has got in that second outside zone. Did it get in there? in that chase position. He does now when he's got the clean air. Big angle there from Fetty, Kazuya Taguchi. See how he handles this last outside zone. There he goes right to the side of him. And Federico looks a lot more confident out front. And there we go, Kazuya Taguchi, Federico Sharifo. There's a one more time, and there it is. Lights extinguish. We got a clean start from this hot little hatchback. Ryan Turk initiates into outside zone one. It's all the way out there. Ula Jaeger has to drop back a little bit. Now into that second outside zone. Look at that, just all up in it, man. No denying his line was absolutely flawless. Ula Jaeger taking a shallower line. I mean, that, that would be a solid qualifying run there. They had a parking lot track here at E-Town, and that's where he actually cut his teeth. So uh, a, a large contingency of Northeast Drifters, including Ryan Turk, here at E-Town. All right, Ola Jaeger goes into that first outside zone. So look at this, Ola Jaeger, he dipped that back left tire, but now Ryan Turk, I was gonna say, he didn't really show up on that first outside zone, but now just after that really dominant lead run, Ryan Turk cannot rest on his laurels. Ola Jaeger is definitely a competitive driver of Formula Drift Rockstar as Rockstar pilot. Ryan Turk advances on, and Federico Sharifo in the Pennzoil 599 Ferrari GTB. All right, Kazuya Taguchi, don't leave in the judges' hands, boys. Come on now. Kazuya Taguchi throws it down. Federico, aka Fetty, 
Going for the aggressive move here in that second outside zone. Look at that, Federico chasing him down. Kazuya trying to get away, but no, Federico lurking in the shadows or Betty on the smoke. Oh boy, Betty slapping the wall big time. So we'll see if uh, his vehicle's affected by it or if he's just gonna stay in it, pin it to win it. Federico Sharifo into that first outside zone. Looks like the delay in the action did not slow him down. Into the second outside zone, we saw a great lead run on his first battle. Kazuya Taguchi bouncing his way to the side of that Pennzoil Ferrari. Into that final outside zone, Federico Sharifo right in there. Definitely want to see an overhead of this just to see their actual line and see what went down. Went down. That uh, Kazuya Taguchi, Federico Sharifo, and Kazuya Taguchi gets the victory. Brandon Sorensen will lead a higher qualifying driver. Brandon qualifying 12th over 21st of Joao Berrion. Brandon Sorensen, almost simultaneous initiation there by Brandon and Joao in that second outside zone. Big angle, angle there from Brandon. Joao, look at Brandon. Right on the edge of the track. And Joao tucks in and Brandon, I mean, absolutely a stellar run there. Joao Berrion, clean start. Look for Joao, get that cleaner. Oh, yeah. Oh man, we're seeing some flames, we're seeing some sparks. Out that back left, but uh, quickly, oh no. Oh boy, that's, that's a lot of fire. And we've seen this before where the rubber actually starts to catch fire, but look at this, he's staying in it. Wow, Berrion, it might have just extinguished this. Brandon Sorens is there like, uh, bro, you might want to check that out. That was wild. So let's see what the outcome is. Uh, as much as he, uh, he was killing it, he was on fire literally and figuratively. Brandon Sorensen. How this former champ's gonna do against Ryan Literal. And popping into that first outside zone goes Michael Essa. You can't even see Ryan Literal absolutely covered in smoke. And Michael Essa deep into that second outside zone. Ryan Literal does have the proximity. Not maybe in the angle, but really aggressive here. Let's see how he go into that final outside zone. And Michael Essa looks like he loops it unprovoked. Then on the transition back around, lots of angle, lots of angle, and he spins out. Like I said, a big deficit spinning out in that third and final outside zone. Here we go, right literal into that first outside zone. Now Essa, oh, ooh. oh look at that. Looks like he had, to, he had to back off there or he's backing off by design. And Ryan Little continues on with the paces. And into that final outside zone, and Ryan Literal can see top 16 for the first time this year. And here we go. Ryan Literal gets the win. Here we go. Matt Field will lead. Mike Power give a chase. Matt Field coming into that first outside zone. Mike Power, and he knows his course. He wants to throw down. Matt Field using all of it. He punts that cone out of the way, and Mike Power goes. And of course, he hits Matt Field. Dude, it, like, Matt the pinata field. There's no candy, it's just Falcon tire debris. It's HGK carbon. Power's on a tighter line, surges forward here, and you can see uh, being on that tighter line right there. So that should be expected by Power. And unfortunately, he was ripping, no, he was ripping. No credence was really given to that. Watch the speed and the weight transfer. Ooh, he just hit the brakes like, ah, sorry, bro. Here's the outcome. What's going to happen? We'll find out. Mike Power, Matt Field, the second half of this battle. And here comes Mike Power into that first outside zone. Matt Field initiates. Here comes Mike Power into that second outside zone. Now, I have to think that, you know, given the, the confidence level of Matt Field, and he knows he has an advantage, I don't think he's going to try to stick it to the door of Mike Power. And that's saying a lot because Matt Field traditionally is a, a no holds barred kind of driver. Right, he got the 10, and well, let's go ahead and make it official. Matt Field gets the win, Matt Field advances on, and he... I believe it's tur turbocharged V6 out of basically like the FJ or the Tacoma. And uh, Ken Gushi comes out swinging, Trent Beecham maybe a little bit delayed there on the line. And now transitioning into that second outside zone. Gushi 
coming out really strong with the debut of this vehicle we saw in Atlanta for the first time, right? I believe it was. And now coming into that final outside zone, Kenshiro Gushi, Monty's Ken Gushi Motorsports, Toyota, yellow and black, black and yellow. Grand Beach, a clean start here. For Southern California zone, next entire Clone X. Ford Mustang taking a, a shallow line. Ken Gushi kind of diving in there. We were talking about a unique line now. Trent Beecham fills all of that second outside zone. Let's see how they, how things transpire here in the latter portion of this track. You know, love Trent Beecham. That, that, would, that just got weird there towards the end. Um, Daniel Stuckey, Jonathan Hurst. Oh, that should be fun. Stuckey's been been really on fire. Stuckey qualified qualified 10th, first qualified 23rd. Stuckey into the second outside zone. Watch, listen to this thing. This thing is absolutely, oh! And Hurst straightens out. Oh. Can't listen to it when it's not rolling, man. Oh, such a bummer for Jonathan Hurst. Stuckey does finish out his run. And now here is Daniel Stuckey as we lay out and listen. Stuckey advances on. He'll be going against Gucci. Gucci Stuckey. This fast orange Permatex BMW handles here in New Jersey as Dan Burkett comes in hot. Dylan Hughes stays in it. Yo, look at that, door to door. And look at the Falcon tires keep going around. Dylan Hughes, like I said, just a lot of confidence here for the dozer. He gets a little doze here. Wheel to wheel, look at Dan Burkett. Woo hoo hoo hoo. I'm oh boy. Here we go, Dan Burkett. Rat Industries, gear wrench, throw, comes on in. Big swing there, and you talk about Dan Burkett, Ryan, and here he is, back in it. Great job by Dan Burkett. Dylan Hughes again, right there, banging on his door. Woo, look at this. Well done by Dan Burkett, Dylan Hughes. One more outside zone. Is there a blaring one? A one more time, and a one more time. Here we go, Dylan Hughes. Dan Burkett, we saw a great battle between these two gentlemen, and uh, we'll see if we see it again, or is somebody gonna stand out and rise to the occasion? And Dylan Hughes, ooh, looks like Dan Burkett jumps in on the inside, a little too aggressive. You saw him exceed those front wheels, but Dan Burkett now, he looks like uh, he's, he's making Dylan maybe crack under pressure, but Dylan Hughes transitions back in that final outside zone, and man, it looks like these guys are up at Willow Springs right now. These, these, See what Dan Burkett's got out front. But I feel like Dylan, his posture, his confidence coming out of Orlando. Give himself a little bit of room there, but is that too much? And boom, goes in the side of him. But almost, this is almost like what we saw in the first battle where Dan went in, in as you call him, a backstop. Dylan the backstop, but right now the does are living up to his name. In that final outside zone, looks like he stays in it. Put on one heck of a show. So slide him left for Hughes or right for Dan Burkett and Dylan Hughes unanimously gets the win. Home Charpentier, Garage Istic, BMW, clean start. The LS powered BMW, piloted by Rome, SRT10 Dodge Viper, of course. Dean Carney in that chase position in that second outside zone, Rome. And popping his way into that first inside clip, both of them. Clinical run right now from Rome. And look at Dean Carney. Bang! Oh! Wow. Effectively affect the, the outcome of that run. It's just basically Rome had to fix his vehicle. And here we go. Dean Carney's Carney aggressive on initiation. Let's see what Rome does in the chase. Now Dean into that second outside zone. Rome. Now he's in that pocket. Good proximity. Good angle from him. Little flame shooting out from the side of that Dodge Viper. And Dean brings it on in. And it looks like we have an outcome here. Or do we? Is it going one more time? Rome, Rome, and one more time. So Rome Charpentier gets the win.
Pollock has a clean start. Pollock initiates, straight line approach. Nothing too wild, pretty clean as Taylor Hull on transition gets gapped. And Pollock sets it and forgets it in the outside zone too. Transition past the inside clip. Ooh, big angle there. So it looked like he ramped it up. You know, Pollock is known for that kind of gangster flick into the into initiation. JTP in his Mustang. No cones were hit. Here comes Taylor Hall into that first outside zone. Justin Pollock initiates almost simultaneously. Let's see how the transition happens. Hall, big angle there, and look at now Taylor Hall finds it. But Justin Pollock slowly massages his way back into the pocket, into the final outside zone. Here comes Taylor Hall. Oh, with Pollock. Quick little correction there. And we got it one more time. It's going at it again. Justin Pollock will lead. He saw Taylor Hall advance on, and that is allowed. JTP into that outside zone. Gets all the way to the course's edge. Taylor Hall, that's kind of what he did last time, where he kind of left it out a little bit longer, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't seem too violent, and it definitely does not right there. Passes inside, clip, knocking it over. Justin Pollock, now Taylor Hall. Wow, right there. Oh, we see contact. Taylor Hall, Justin Pollock, second half of this battle. Wow. Taylor Hall, look at this, Justin Pollock. Getting aggressive now. Remember, Taylor Hall was at fault. He went inside of Justin Pollock in that final outside zone. And now Justin Jeez. Pollock, pressure, acting like David Bowie over here. Nice job now coming back around. Oh, big flick there by JTP in that final outside zone. Uh, did, with this, okay, here we go. Verdict, Justin Pollock, Taylor Hall one more time. Justin Pollock and Justin Pollock. JTP gets the victory. Adam LZ will lead in the AutoZone RTR Spec 5. Chris Forsberg giving chase as Nas and a drink. Nissan 370Z. Here comes Adam LZ in that first outside zone. Chris Forsberg initiates. Looks like Adam LZ hooking up, coming and really slingshotting out of that first outside zone. Adam LZ filling all of that second outside zone. Look at this. A little bit of gap between LZ and Forsberg. But again, it's all about, oh, look at this snappy transition into Oh, and Adam LZ, it looks like, so with that snappy transition, it looks like it gripped up and it created a wall in front of Forsberg. We'll have to, I mean, wa watch this transition. Huge angle from LZ and he starts slowing down to the point to where Forsberg has nowhere to go. Penzo, RTR Spec 5D. Chris Forsberg under the bridge into that first outside zone. Into the second outside zone. Go Forsberg and Z. And now into that. Look at that. Look at Adam LZ sticking it to the door of Chris Forsberg, the three-time champ. Now transitioning into that final outside zone. Chris Forsberg brings it on in. Adam LZ. Yeah, it was it was a great effort there. Like you said, Ryan, just bears repeating. Great effort by Adam LZ, but unfortunately not enough after that spin on that first run. Yeah, this is where things start to coalesce, aggregate, kind of coagulate, and here we go. Chelsea Nofa and Waturo Masayama with our first battle up. First battle of a Royal Purple Top 16. Chelsea Nofa initiates that Pennzoil RTR Spec 5, now transitioning into the sec as Waturo Masayama put on one heck of a run. Age of the go, but look at Chelsea Nofa. You see the attitude of the car, dipping, squatting, but Masayama mimicking that now into our final outside zone. Here's where you want to keep your car together. We talk about attrition. Let's not have contact, kids. Let's keep it clean, see a good fight, wheel to wheel. Watch for Chelsea to know for here. I think, I think this is gonna be another approach where he's not gonna throw it all the way out there. He's gonna go to like a 10.5 as opposed to an 11. And now into that second outside zone, and there it is. So look at that. You see him get into formation. Masayama pour a little more angle at it. And Chelsea maxing out the angle. Let's see his transition. How do they handle this? Does Denofa have the horsepower to get right back to it? And I think he does. And Masayama comes out. Whoa, no! Oh, just barely taps that back right. They, they beat the other drivers, but don't beat themselves. And uh, Chelsea Denofa is, is on that path. You know. A lot of eyeballs on Frederick Osbo. How is he going to fare? Comes underneath. 
the boots and now into that first outside zone. Here goes Frederick Osbo, Cody Bakshis, right there, not exactly mimicking the angle. Frederick Osbo puts it deep into that second outside zone, but look at Odie Bakshis right there. Looks like he's about to grab the Falcon on his door. Pass that inside clip into that final outside zone. Frederick Osbo right on the Razor's edge, but Odie is right there. And that's why these gentlemen are in the hunt for the championship. And there we go, Odie Bakshis initiating. And Frederick Osbo taking a bit of a shallower line there. We'll see if he can catch up into that second outside zone. I'll tell you what, Odie, that is great proximity there, but Odie really deep, really solid. And now into that final outside zone. Look at that. Woo Let's see what we got. Frederick Osbo, Odie Bakshi, slide him left for Osbo. One more time and a one more time. The clean, fresh start, all things considered. The Rockstar Energy Drink Toyota GR Supra into that first outside zone. There goes Frederick Osbo into that second outside zone. Here goes Osbo and now Odie Bakshi. The type S likes the party continues here. And look at Odie Bakshi's right there. But what a great lead run by Frederick Osbo. Again, our current points leader in that final outside zone. This is very similar to what we saw in their first battle, Ryan. And here we go. Second half of this battle, Odie Bakshi's, Frederick Osbo. Odie firing off. And look at this, Osbo. This is that X factor that we're looking for. What do we got here, kids? Into that second outside zone. Look at Odie Bakshi's right. I mean, drawing that line. But look at Osbo, wheel to wheel. Nino to Falcon, Toyota to Nissan. Now to that final outside zone, Ryan. Wow. Woo, doctor, come on. Slide him left for Osbo, right for Odie. And it looks like Frederick Osbo gets the win. Travis Reader, Motorsports, BMW, but Kazuya Taguchi, ISR Performance, Up Garage, 86. Coming out and seeing what he's got. Kazuya Taguchi in that first outside zone. Yep. Bearing Reader in some smoke, but not phasing now. Oh, look at Reader. I'm not going anywhere. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me see some Reader in it. And now coming into that final outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi, big flick there, pulling away from Reader. And it, Guess what, did not compromise angle the second half of this battle. In that first outside zone, Kazuya Taguchi. Chasing down Reader, Reader. Pedals it into the second. Big, long outside zone. Can Kazuya chase him down? And yes, he can, there he is. Now coming into that final outside zone, Reader. Big angle from him, Kazuya Taguchi. And powers all the way through for Kutaguchi, and that's another one more time. <laughs> so we've been busy. Everybody pretty busy here in the drifting world as Ryan Turk, make sure he doesn't hit a cone. Nope, we're good. Ryan Turk, Rain X, Nitto tire shrouded, Toyota GR Corolla, Sorensen in that chase position. Oh, buddy, oh my goodness. Holy banana cakes. Oh my goodness. It's all right. Let's watch it again, right? Yeah, like we were saying, this is a this is a much heavier hit than Matt Power or than, than Mike Power and Field. And it happens in the same area, and it's just on that transition, not getting the timing right, coming through that section, knowing that there is a D-cell zone there for and you can see Turk is on the e-brake in the D-cell zone, making that adjustment. And Sorensen, I mean if if let's put it this way, if Turk wasn't there, Sorensen's going into the wall either way. Right? You can see by the momentum that he has that he would have carried himself into the wall there. The clock is ticking down. We'll get a clock shot here in a moment. So one minute left there, and you know you can see Osbo's team, they're focused on the Super because he still is involved. You know, it's gonna be Denofa Osbo, and then as you say, Travis Reeder. So if again one minute left, wheels not on taillights, but Turk will advance on, and we talked about this. He will not be able to compete any further. That would mean Travis Reeder would advance on into the final four. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Love the confidence, but unfortunately the Puma gloves come off, the helmet comes off, and uh, round of applause. Hey, round of applause for his team. Thrashing, 15 minutes, getting that front right corner, brake rotors. All right, we are clear to send our next battle. So, Reeder and Taguchi. One of these gentlemen to go against Turk or Sorensen, and right now, 
Not looking promising for Ryan Turk, but we will see. Kazuya Taguchi, ISR performance up garage, 86. And Travis Reeder, remember this is a one more time battle between them. Into that first outside zone, here comes Taguchi. And now Reeder in that chase position, in that second outside zone. Bring it all the way through again, this is the one more time battle. And now into that final outside zone, nasty flick by Taguchi. Second half of this battle, who's moving on? Travis Reeder had a great showing in Orlando. Can he do it again? In that first outside zone, coming to the second. The big, long 180. And look at Reeder. Taguchi right there. Can Taguchi make it a, an attempt for a podium here? Oh, Reeder with that step kind of initiation. And Taguchi. Reader or Taguchi, slide him left for Travis Reader. Here we go. Oh, here Let's we get go. Right into Back it. Top Ryan 16. Little, Matt Field. The other guy that went into the wall. Yeah, Matt Field. Uh, shh, shh. Here goes Matt Field. Falcon Tires goes off course. The Borla Drift Cave Corvette. Now in that second outside zone. Ryan Literal, first time top 16 this year in that power stop. Whoa. GT Radial S15. Matt Field now into that final outside zone. He was talking about thrashing. Quickly looking at his social media, his theme, team thrashing, get the car back together. The Royal Purple Top 16, Ryan Literal through that start chicane. Picking off the second run. Ryan Literal enters, enters into that first outside zone. Coming now as the sun sets, Ryan Little rises to the occasion. Filling all that second outside zone, but not shaking Matt Field. Let's see how they transition into that final outside zone. Literal goes in, Matt Field drops into formation. Good job by Ryan Literal out front. Good drive by these guys. Literal slide him left for Literal, right for Field. One more time. The car was rattling so much after the 10. So uh, he's, he, yeah, him and his team are hoping that it works out. Here we go, Matt Field into that first outside zone. Falcon Tires Corvette. A little bit of hesitation and reservation. Not, not as comp, not as snappy as we've seen previously from Field. And that allows Ryan Little to gain that proximity and really get close here as we come now into that final outside zone. Matt Field gets all the way out there. Ryan Little. So that seemed like he was diving in on the inside. Literal out front. Matt Field in the chase position. Matt Field in that contention for the championship. Second and points into that first outside zone goes Literal. Matt Field. You can see him ripping up into that second outside zone. Dropping in. Literal maxing out the angle. How's he going to handle this transition? It's that final outside zone. Great job by Ryan Literal. Matt Field up in the mix. Slide him left for Literal, right for Matt Field. Remember, Matt Field in the hunt for the championship, and Matt Field does get the victory. Monty's. Toyota GR86. That six cylinder turbo vehicle, Stuki. Ooh, big correction there by Stuki. Parks it. And now into that second outside zone goes Ken Gushi. And it looks like Stuki does continue on through the course, so Gushi will have to complete it. And he does. Leaves the start line. Ken Gushi, clean start. See what we got into that first outside zone. Where is Gushi going? A big mistake there by Kenshiro Gushi, Daniel Stuki. Now into that second outside zone. Unfortunately for Gushi on initiation, he had that major mistake and did not get to that first outside zone. Now you have to think incomplete versus a mistake. Was that an incomplete or was that a mistake? Was he offline? Because you have to think Stuki went off course. Sorry, that, that is incorrect. It, it, it was supposed to it was supposed to be just sorry. Just go through <laughs> I understand. He's going for those neon colors. Here we go. Well, speaking of neon, the type S lights are on underneath the vehicles. Here comes Dylan the Dozer Hughes into that first outside zone. Rome Sharpentier. He attacks. Gets to the side. So you got kind of an E46 and an E30 E36 in that second outside zone. Dylan Hughes. Qualifying third yesterday, now here in the competition. Comes in that final outside zone. Dylan Hughes using all of the course. Come on, boys. Who's going to rise to the occasion? 
Rome Sharp is here. I feel like this is a changing of the guard. These kind of new, these new breed drifters, these young cats who are going for championship. Oh boy, look at that. So as you see, Rome Sharp is here. Dylan Hughes, like I said, confidence in his corner. Look at the max down angle from Rome Sharp is here. Let's see the transition into our final outside zone. How do they handle it? Rome goes and digs deep. Oh my gosh, how many? I, I, I'm out of hairs to split, bro. For Dylan and Rome sharpens wow. here. Look at that. Rome gets the win. This car is a rocket ship, both of them. So here we go. Justin Pollock and Chris Forsberg. JTP out front, that Falcon tires Ford Mustang. Chris Forsberg initiates a little earlier than JTP. We'll see if that pays off. Now transitioning into that second outside zone. JTP, big angle. Chris Forsberg not as deep now. He finds himself in the middle of that second outside zone. Let's see how they transition here into that final outside zone. Chris Forsberg paces them. Looks like he was just on the wrong side of his vehicle. And Justin Pollock all the way in that final outside zone. Chris Forsberg will lead JTP. Justin Pollock giving chase. Here comes Forsberg, NOS Energy Drink, all new Nissan Z on GT Rio tires. He knows he needs to throw down, he does just that. Big gangster initiation, but JTP, watch him kind of surge up here, he does that. Lacking an angle, but does gain the proximity. Now Forsberg into that second outside zone, into that final outside zone, goes Forsberg. Here goes Justin Pollock, and oh, Pollock goes to the wall, but he salvages it. Slide up left for JTP or right for Chris Forsberg, and JTP gets the win. Pennzoil, Mustang RTR Spec 5D. Frederick Osbo chase him down on the Rockstar. Toyota GR Super, look at that. Both these guys lifted some tire. Coming into that second outside zone. How's he gonna handle Chelsea Denofa? Frederick Osbo, look how deep Chelsea Denofa is. And Frederick Osbo, we saw him rubbing door with Odi Bosch. He's can't do it here with Denofa without disrupting and making it violent. Coming to that final outside zone, Denofa and Osbo. Woo, make some noise, E-Town. Here we are, Frederick Osbo. Again, your points leader and your defending champion, the rock star Toyota GR Supra coming into that first outside zone. Chelsea Denofa, you saw him shallow, but then digs deep. Now let's see, can Denofa go deeper and mimic it? Yes, he does. So look at that. You can see he's actually deeper than Frederick Osbo, which actually might help him. Let's see the transition. Here we go. Well, look at that. Gives him a little bit of room here. And Denofa, you see him take a little bit of angle out of it to gain that proximity in outside zone two. Oh, do we have a result? Here we go, slide left for Denofa, right for Frederick Osbo. One, two, and three. Chelsea Denofa gets the win. And here we go, so this is Travis Reeder's by run. Reeder advances on, he is in the final four. The pressure mounts for him, and it, you know what? Reeder, the way he's driving, the way he drove in Orlando in the wet, and now just this flat track, very straightforward. I think this is gonna highlight Travis Reeder and how he can drive. And and truth be told, Reeder and Denofa, they've driven against each other. They're homies. They, they you know, Denofa used to live in Portland. Reeder would come to park the track in Portland. They would drive and do tandem together quite a bit. And Matt Field qualified 15. Here comes Ken Gushi out of the gate. See if he can better that initiation he just had against Stuckey, unfortunately. A uh, Bosch initiation now very dialed right now is Ken Gushi. That Monty's. Ken Gushi Motorsports, Toyota GR86. On next and tires now coming into that final outside zone, Gushi. Field cannot be shaken. And cross that finish line. Straight forward. Here comes Matt Field. Got a clean start. The smoke is definitely lingering here in this Coliseum. Matt Field in that first outside zone. Putting it where it should be. Oh boy, Gucci flirt with the contact, but no, it does not. Pass that inside clip. Gucci is the red shadow. Oh, and he dives in and grips up just a bit too much. Oh, uh, you lost something, bro. Your your door? Is it enough? And there it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, unfortunately, Gucci knocked out. A great effort there. Here we go, JTP will lead, Rome Charpentier, give it chase. Who's going on to go against Matt Field in the final four? JTP, aggressive initiation. Yo, but Rome right there. The green and pink shadow loses some ground, but now JTP all up in that second outside zone. That's, what, that's Rome's move, you see this 
drop like back to slide into those DMs. And now that final outside zone, JTP, big match. He didn't have to bounce off the wall as we saw with him and Chris Forsberg. Here we go, Rome Charpentier out front, JTP chasing him down. Rome Charpentier, look at that flick. Little Manji initiation, but JTP adjusts so well. You see that counter steer and now coming into that second outside zone. Rome very deep into there. JTP, look at throwing some more angles. Stepped out. Let's see how they handle the last oh boy. zone. And JTP throws it in hard. Slide him left for Rome or right for Justin Pollock. And quickly, yeah. Rome sharpens here. the final four. Reader Motorsports, Link Engine Management, BMW on GT Radials. Now coming in to that first outside zone. Chelsea Denofa, Reader, hanging with this Mustang. Look at Reader into the outside zone. There goes Chelsea, there goes Reader. Like I said, these guys do a lot of drifting together in Portland before Chelsea moved down to Florida, and right now it is showing. Look at Reader, giving her the beans. <laughs> All right, here we go. Reader leads out. We got a clean start. Coming to that first outside zone. Reader throws it in. Here goes Chelsea Denofa. Big angle there. Chelsea Denofa looks like he's falling back. Look at he's shallow on the line. And here comes Reader into that transition into that final outside zone. And look at Travis Reader. Can he take down Chelsea Denofa? Did Travis Reader? Did Travis jump? Reader take down Chelsea Denofa, your number one <laughs> qualifier? Right uh -oh. for Travis uh -oh. Reader gets the win. E36, Matt Field gives Chase, Falcon Tires, Borla, Exhaust, Drift Cave, Corvette, the Beast from the Bay, Rome Charpentier. Got that Manji entry once again into that first outside zone, not phased. He took down one Falcon Field, but can he take down another? And look at that. Oh, Matt Field applying the pressure. Those yellow headlights are in his rearview mirror. But Charpentier not affected. And oh, looks like Matt Field potentially bullying him kind of out of the way right there. Want to get that overhead shot. Denofa locks up third place. Field or Charpentier? Field now leads. He's going to throw down a gangster one. Filling all of that first outside zone. Now transitioning into the second. Look at that drawing the line. And Rome is right there. Watch that front flip. Right past it. Oh, Field comes blazing into it. Digs deep. Rome a little bit off. But again, that overhead view. Look at the tiger stripes on Field's door. Item left for Matt Field or right for Rome Charpentier. One more time, one more time. And Rome oh. Charpentier to unlock that Pandora's box. And here comes Rome Charpentier up front, Garage Mystic BMW. He gets all the way out there, draws that line. Field gets into formation, gets into that pocket. And that's something that he was lacking a little bit on that first battle, but now he seems to find that secret sauce. And now transitions past into that final outside zone. A little hesitation, but just barely let him get past. Matt Field. Link shots out of the start chicane. Flicks it in nastily into that first outside zone. Now in that second outside zone. Dialing in, look at Rome inching closer and closer to Matt Field. Pretty tip for tack compared to that first run. Have to see that angle. You talked about the nuances there, Ryan. How are they gonna handle that last and final outside zone? Rem said he's having fun. Matt Field, look at that. Deep is Rome Sharpentier. Oh my gosh. Slide him left for Matt Field, right for Rome Sharpentier. Oh and gosh. look at this, Rome oh Sharpentier is going to the finals. Rome Sharpentier is going to the finals. Matt Field is our new points leader. We are ready to send it. Rome Sharpentier, Travis Reeder in the finals here in New Jersey. Round four of the Formula Jet Pro Championship. Rome Charpentier goes to that first outside zone. Travis Reeder in tow. Back quite a bit. Can he gain that ground? Travis Reeder lacking a lot of angle, but Rome Charpentier puts him right in the crease. Now Travis Reeder gains the ground. Lacking that angle again. We talked about how, how Rome Charpentier mimicked the angle of Matt Field. Now coming to that final outside zone. Here comes Rome Charpentier. Travis Reeder on the inside. Contact. 
Houston, we have a problem. We got a little bump there. Reader will lead. Rome Charpentier, give it chase. This is insane. Set it! Here we go. Reader out front. Transitions into that first outside oh zone. Gosh. Reader on the line. Rome Charpentier back at it. Sons the hood into that second outside zone. Reader going deep. Rome not as deep. How much does he trust his engine? It doesn't matter. This is for all the marbles, not the ones in the engine, the ones that are on the podium. Travis Reader all the way out on the outside zone and bringing it on home. Reader and Sharpens here. Me. You've got to be kidding me. Well, you know who finished third place? Third place shaking things up here in New Jersey, a hunt for the championship. Third place in the Pennzoil BC Racing Mustang RTR Spec 5D. Say howdy, get rowdy. Chelsea Genofa. But the first place overall winner here in New Jersey is Travis Reeder gets the win in the Leak Engine Management. Travis Reeder Motorsports, GT Radial, BMW, two to one. The Walmart Greeter Speed Reader gets the win here in New Jersey. And with that second place, he's got a smile on his face. Congratulations, second place here in New Jersey. First time podium finisher in the Pro Championship, the Garageistic Imagine Garage, Federal Tires, Magnuson Supercharged, BMW, giving modern hell, Rome Charpentier! Unbelievable. Unbelievable turn of events. We're gonna get Lorette Nickel down there with our winner. We're gonna see Travis Reeder cry. Uh, deciding factor uh, for the two of us was uh, Reader was closer uh, overall, and uh, there wasn't the angle match that we were looking at uh, throughout the day today. But um, Rome was a little bit further away, but he was also shallow on angle as well, and that might have been um, the major part of our decision. Now, um, the other judge saw that uh, Reader kind of dove in from. Uh, outside zone one to two and he kind of beeline going into it where he cheated the line a lot more than uh, Rome did and he took that heavier um, and decided uh, Rome would get the win but it was a two to one decision and that's why there's three of us and uh, I think it's a very very fair call and uh, overall today it was just so crazy and this shows that this track is very very unique um, very technical and also the driver's level is just not not something that I've ever seen before, and this is really, really crazy. Speak to the collision. Speak to the collision real quick, because that's what everybody that wants factor? to know. How did that factor in? Oh, okay, the factor, it was towards the end of the track, and it was because Reader was, you know, charging really, really hard. And uh, yes, we don't want to see a uh, collision, but it was really, really towards the end of the track, and we kind of made that a wash where, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't was just, a factor. It, was a, it, was after it the wasn't really line. a factor. It wasn't a factor. It was after the finish line, similar to what we saw previously. Exactly. Okay. As we head to the halfway point in the series, moving forward to St. Louis. Congratulations to, again, Matt Field taking that points lead. We are officially at the halfway point of our 2022 season.